Yeah, that's, um, I think we'll learn more from today's game than uh, you know last week's one. To be honest, um, you know, when a goal down, it's one of the worst goals I've ever seen. Uh, we, we've gifted to them. Um, there wasn't many chances in the game. Probably, if there's nine chances that we had today, then you know we'd be lucky to to call them chances. To be honest, we had a lot of corners uh, first half, and our delivery was poor. Normally, Ricky's spot on with them. Um, yeah, so to, to go a goal down and then grind it out um, against a team that's you know set up, they've got good shape, they're w well organised, uh, hard to play against and, and get the two goals is, is massive for us. Like you say, it's a hard place to come and in recent weeks people have only clubs have only left with a point, so you know, going one nil down, did you think it was a real uphill task to then come away with three points? Yeah, definitely, especially the timing of it. It wasn't, you know, it was quite um, like middle of the second half. So I knew there was still a bit of time for us to get some goals back, but you know, it was, it was going to be a, a tough half. So I thought helped us scoring quite soon after their goal. Um, you know, David come on and, and, and show what David's all about. Really, um, we probably missed that type of finish and um, you know, a bit of quality at times uh, throughout the season. Um, but yeah, if we can get him confident. Um, with the rest of the boys we've got, then um, it, it bodes well moving on. Tactically, it looked like you got it spot on with bringing David on the time in there. What does that do for his confidence? He's had a hard couple of months, really, in and out of injuries. Is this exactly what he needs? Yeah, I mean, if you look at our bench today, it's strong. It's a real strong bench today. And I said to the lads after that we've got three lads not even involved today. Um, Josh Gould, Jesper and Billy Barker. Um, not, not even involved. And you know, we've got a squad of 20 players in there all vying for that shirt so you know we need to see more effort I don't think you know I, for me personally I thought it was a bit um, after last week we could just turn up at a place like this and it was going to happen for us it was a nice sunny day the pitch is nice everything you know for our, in our favour if you like but like I say their, their tactics were good uh, made it difficult and we'll learn more from growing that result this week um, you know when you've got to come from behind um, to keep going, persevere and be clinical, take those chances and you know, luckily we've done that today. You look at the table and there's a few fixtures there that went our way, I think Bognor got beat, might be a good time to play them next week. We jumped up to fourth, it's so tight out there Hinch, anything could happen at the moment. Yeah that's right, I mean all we can do we're on a good little run now, I think that's five games unbeaten now, um, back to back wins that we haven't done for a long time So um, and we've got players coming back. So. You look at all that and go, oh, it all looks rosy. Um, but you know, you know as well as I do that this league, if you know the form table goes out the window, you know, Bogner could get beat four 0 one week and then turn it on and they can go and beat us four 0 five 0 at their place next week. That's just how this league is. So, like, uh, it's, it's great learning for these young players. Great learning for these young players. They know that week in week out, you have to be on it. Um, you know, mentally, you have to be sharp. Uh, you know, I thought Ricky. Looked like he'd played two games for England colleges in a week, so um, and he's a massive player for us. You know his passing range, and um, you know he, he can real dictate a game for us. So um, we've got to really monitor now the, the last ten games, and um, yeah, this squad's going to be massive. For us. On a slight negative, Ross Edwards seemed to pull out early. There was it a bit yeah. of a freak accident? Yeah, just on the, the drain down there. He just <laughs> you know typical Ross to be honest. That's how he's like goes to be honest. If anyone's going to roll their own corner drain, it's going to be Ross Edwards. Um, you know, I don't know what it is with him, but uh, you know, I can't talk. I was very injury prone myself, but yeah, it's just the luck that the lad has. You know, comes in the team, he gets his first 90 minutes under his belt, and uh, yeah, I honestly feel for him. I, I'm hoping it's not too bad. He said the initial pain was quite sore. He's rolled it on the drain, like I say there. Um, but, I'm hoping he, he won't be ruled out for next Saturday, to be honest, with a good bit of treatment and stuff. Um, to finish on a positive quickly, Alfie Young back in the squad. He, uh, it's been a long time coming. Yeah. I think he's going to be a big, big asset for these last 10 games, as you yeah, say. Yeah, definitely. I mean, and then Joel skipped minutes as well. Um, Alfie come on, and, and like you said, David and uh, Callum and uh, Danny Barker and Lucas are pushing. So, like I say, there's 20 players we've got. Um, if not more in our younger players that we've got at the club, uh, all vying for that place. So, you know, we're expecting training to be really vibrant and lively this week, um, heading into, you know, a, a nice fixture next week.